Hey guys, DLR here, back with Equivalent Exchange, episode 25, and I'm sorry if my enthusiasm is a little lacking in this episode, but I left school at about 12 because I had a migraine, and it is now 6.38 as I'm recording this, so I took some Excedrin migraine and I feel quite a bit better, but I'm still not, you know, feeling up to par to do a commentary. I just wanted to put this out because uh, I needed to, so first thing I want to show you is that I've completed the stadium over here, so... This looks pretty sick, if you ask me. I've got a piston door there, which I use iron blocks for. And then I added some glowstone to the ceiling so mobs don't spawn on the glass. And it just looks uh, pretty awesome. Glowstone to the floor. So, yeah, this was a lot of work. Obviously, I couldn't do any kind of MC editing on this. Uh, I wouldn't have anyway. But it's such an irregular shape, it would have been pretty much impossible. But that looks uh, pretty awesome, if you ask me. So... Back to the task at hand. I am going to try to finish up doing the mod items in this episode, so then maybe we can get started on some of our bigger building projects over in the mountains. So what I've done is I've gone, uh, gone ahead and made our diamonds into 13 dark matter, so we've got that there. And the first thing I want to make is the ring of ignition. So let's go ahead and get that done. And for that, I need flint and iron, which I went ahead and got. Luckily I kept some of this flint. Uh, we need also this and I need to make three flint and steels so I'll take those and then I'm not sure if I can use this one because it's already been used but I'll try it anyway then I need let's see two Mobius fuel and I found an easier recipe for Mobius fuel which is good we just need to get some glowstone out of our chest over here and we need to make like two glowstone blocks. So there's that. And I'm going to show you guys this recipe here. So let's see. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need some redstone. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I have some. Nope. I can just turn some glowstone into redstone. Luckily, I have my Philosopher's Stone. So I take that redstone. And I think that's all I need. So now. The recipe is you need your full officer stone, you need redstone, you need your two glowstone blocks, and you need this, and that will give you Mobius fuel. So I need two Mobius fuel, then I need to go ahead and take uh, this guy and make my ring. So it's the basic ring recipe. Here we go. And now you take this, and you put these guys all around the corners. Then you take your Mobius fuel and you put it like this, and then you take two dark matter and do that. And that should be right, so my guess is yeah, this probably can't be used. So try that again. Um Boom. Boom. Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Mobius fuels on top and bottom middle. Flint and steels around the corners. Hopefully this works. I, I don't think I have the recipe wrong, because I was literally just on the wiki looking this up. Ring in the middle. Dark matter on the sides. There we go. So that gives us our ring of ignition. And this is our fire ring. So, obviously, you can guess what this does. Oh, God. Uh. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, nothing too special. It's just a fiery ring thing. I wonder how far it works. I'm gonna test that out. Oh, so it, it shoots a flame ball. I should probably put this out because I really don't want this burning down my epic mansion over there. I don't know how far that'll spread. And then I can also create, like, columns of flame and all kinds of stuff like this. I don't know what that does. Um, no idea. Probably... Oh, god. Nope, stop doing that. No! No, stop doing that. <laughs> bad ring. Bad ring. Okay, so... That's the last ring I believe we needed. We need this talisman of repair, which is pretty useless because my dark matter tools don't even need repairing. So I'm it's still in the decision making of, you know, whether I'm actually going to bother to make that because it's such a useless item. I need doymons. So I'm going to craft another thing down here. Zomble stuck on the roof. So then... Uh, we need to make our dark matter axe. So there's that. 
I'm not sure if this does anything special or if it's just a, kind of a useless item. Maybe, is it instant? It's not even instant mine on stone. This thing is awful compared to the hammer. Uh, and the hammer only requires two dark matter, so this is really terrible. Do I have to have it charged? Okay, so when I charge it up, it will mine all the materials in a vein. So I'm going to quickly see if I can find like a vein of coal or something. There's some iron. Oops. So, yeah, that's what that does. Doesn't work on stone. Uh, if you found, like, a really large vein of coal, I could sort of see the usefulness of this. But it's not a very good item to have. So, if you guys uh, would like a better mining material, it would be the hammer, obviously. Especially since this doesn't even work on stone. Like, you couldn't mine large sections of stone at a time, so don't bother. Then, let's see, what else do we need? What do you want? You, I, th I think you want to die. Is that what you want? Let's see. Uh, let's get out this baby on him. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Burn. This thing isn't even effective against mobs. <laughs> I hear a slime down there. Oh, there's some gold. I didn't notice that. Hello, gold. You're mine. So... I guess this thing could be partially useful, but not that great. Uh, next up. I, I actually don't think I'm going to make this. Let me just uh, quickly hop on the wiki and see what other effects it has besides just repairing materials. Um, repair... Did I say that right? Yeah, I think I did. Repairing materials. Yeah, that's the right thing to say. I was going to say repairing my materials or something like that. I don't know, I feel pretty bad, but my commentary, I think my commentary is doing very well. I've been trying to use a lot more enthusiasm since I, I watched my own movie, and I did not talk through like half of that. I'm trying to improve myself, trying to make my commentary better, make myself more entertaining, so that I can possibly get a YouTube partnership soon. Now let's see. Talisman of Repair. And YouTube actually sent me a message about how I could earn money from... Uh, my videos, which is pretty sick. I don't know, like, why um, I would be able to earn money because I don't really have that many subscribers or anything, but that's pretty cool. I'm on the point where I'm getting enough views that I could actually make some money from it. So that's awesome. YouTube is starting to take notice to me. Okay, so for that, the Talisman of Repair, I'm actually going to go ahead and make this just because it's so easy to make. I need that. I need some string. And I need some paper. I don't know how to make paper. I'm gonna try my best at this. It's either... No, that's not it. Maybe... F nine? Come on. Nope. Minecraft... Paper. There we go. Paper. Minecraft wiki. Oh, there we go. That's easy. The recipe doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. There we go. That gives us three paper. Now, I'll show you guys the recipe for the talisman of repair. It's pretty, like, not that hard. Pretty not that hard. Yeah, that made sense, DLR. Okay. There we go. And then you put paper in the middle. This recipe doesn't make sense either. Wait, that's the recipe, isn't it? Oh, it's the opposite way for this. Okay, there we go. Talisman of Repair. Let me check out the effects of this. This charm will repair your tools and armor, including flint and steel, as close to the appropriate time as possible, keeping your armor bar full and you'll, your tools in great shape as long as you have the covalence dust for that type of item. Okay. So, it'll work from anywhere in your inventory. That's, uh, pretty bad. Uh, I'd need iron covalence dust to keep the flint and steel powered up. That's stupid. So there we go. Another nice stupid item um, that has no effects whatsoever. I'm just going to throw this thing up here. Let's see. What other mod items do we need? I think we're getting pretty close. Uh, we need... Let's see. We have all this. Um, Dark Matter Shears. Ugh, I'm very not happy about making these. How do I make those? Shears. 
Dark Matter Shears. Oh, it's a diamond and one Dark Matter. So that's a little better. I don't have to waste that many Dark Matter in making these. There we go. There's my shears. Very, also very useless. Trying to, my browser is like slowing down my Minecraft by a lot. There we go, that's a little better. Now, we have our Dark Matter shears, which, uh, if you're not aware, actually, they, they give you eight wool, and then it clones the sheep. So, that's pretty nice. It's a good way to get wool if you need wool. I don't know why you would ever need that much wool, unless you were making a house or something out of wool. Uh, let's see, I need my swift wolf. I'm gonna go try these dark matter shears if I can find a sheep. Here we go. Skelly, don't even, don't even get near me. I hate you. I hate you and your brother and... Okay. It's night, so I may have a hard time finding some sheep. We got a creeper. Can I... Hey, buddy. You wanna get sheared? Come here. For some reason, I don't think this is gonna work, but... Oh, God. Yeah. This can be fixed. There we go. Problem solved. Now, I really want to find a sheep, because I want to try this effect out. There should be a bunch of sheep in this hole over here. I'm not sure if I put up screenshots of this yet, but these sheep are... There's just, like, tons of sheep in this hole over here, and it's ridiculous. I hope they're still there. But... Oh, come on, where's that hole? There were, like... I want to say 30 sheep in this hole over here, if I can find it. It was actually pretty weird. I, I wonder if, like, all the sheep are just, like, falling into this hole. Where is it? It's gotta be around here. I know it was, like, straight off the back of the castle. Oh, we got a sheep. Come here, little buddy. Come on. Come on. Oops. Oh, that's weird. Come on. Oh, there we go. So you have to uh, left click on the sheep. Oops, I don't want all these leaves. I don't even know what I can do with all those leaves. Uh, can you be converted leaves? I don't even, I don't care. <laughs> so you can take all the stuff off of trees if you want to. If you're bu building like a leaf house. Yay, free wool. Lots and lots of wool. I need stuff to put my items now that I've cloned all these sheep. Come here. Get cloned. Oops, I killed it. This is pretty sweet. I'm getting free wool all over the place. And it's also causing my game to lag like crazy. I'm just murdering these sheep. Let's see. I need my red bag. Do I have any room for all this wool that I'm getting? Maybe I'll use my white bag for that, because I can use it to make alchemy bags. Wool. Wool. Uh, leaves. I'm gonna have to burn all these leaves. Okay, I'm gonna try to fly home. Oh, my red alchemy bag, I need that. Crap. Okay, there we go. Let's fly home, like all these sheep aren't here. Okay, I think all my- oh, Darn it, those items are keeping up to me. Make sure I'm headed the right direction. Yep. Come on, keep going. Keep flying. Surprisingly, this flying material isn't really causing my game to lag that much. That's good, that's very good. After uninstalling all those programs, my uh, Minecraft is running like a lot smoother. Like I am- when I'm not recording, I'm getting like 53 FPS, which is pretty good. And then when I am recording, I'm limiting my FPS to about 18 now, and that seems smooth. Uh, you know, it's not like PBAT smooth or Sly smooth, but it's definitely very smooth, so it's nice. I enjoy it. Not having, having, not halfing, not having lag spikes every five seconds. Let's get back down here. We. 
try to throw all this crap away. I made this little thing where I can throw my useless materials. Oh, am I missing? Oh, I've got this band on. That's why. There we go. Okay. Voice crack. <laughs> okay, throw these back in there. I need to stop saying okay. That's one of my bad habits when I'm commentating. I always say okay, okay, okay. Well, let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. I do a great impression of myself. I wonder why. Let's see, what else do we need? Uh, we have our Klein Stars. We have all of our Dark Matter armor. Guys, I think we've done it, except for the Dark Matter Locust, and we can get right on that now. We have 7 Dark Matter. We are going to need 32, which, to be honest, with all the stuff we have, shouldn't be that hard to get, uh, just 32 Dark Matter, so let's get on that. And, uh, throw all of my stuff in here. So much flint. Dark Matter, Glowstone, Dust. Or no, actually, I can put this in my yellow bag. I'll throw this up there. Boom, boom. Put this in there as well. I think we can do this in this episode. I really think we can. Let's throw this flesh in here. I've thrown all my rotten flesh in there because I have so much bread, it's not even necessary. Oops, I just threw it into the yellow one, didn't I? Oh, this isn't even on. There we go. That'll be helpful. Now, put this back up here. Shears pick. All completely useless. Redstone. Um, diamonds. Nope, not the vulcanite. Uh, let's see. I need the torches down here. And I need the vulcanite as well. Keep this and this up here. This, uh, there, okay. Flint and steel. That'll do it. Let's get down to the mine. Okay. Over at the mountains, I want to start a new mine shaft and actually have it somewhat organized so that I can use it. Hello. Uh, what are you? Gunpowder. That's what I'm looking for. Gunpowder. I gotta say, with uh, the lava animation off, I think it looks pretty cool. It doesn't have that flowing effect to it, obviously, but it still looks alright. Let's go down here. I'm gonna test the pick on something like this. Like a big vein of coal. Ugh. Here we are. Now let's try this. How much will this give us? So, yeah, that gives you a lot. That's pretty nice, but, you know, when you have all the good tools that I'm used to, it's not that helpful. It's pretty nice, not that great. It's just convenience. This is converting all into glowstone, in case you were wondering. I think it just gets all the material in the vicinity. I can see this being useful, actually. Especially when we've got, like, huge pockets of iron and gold and stuff like that. Could be very useful. I don't know. Uh, we'll try it out and see how it works. And we're mining a lot more material in a shorter amount of time. That's good. It's obviously not bad, but... Here we go. Don't want to mine the redstone. That's just a waste of time. You are mine, Iron. You are mine. Okay, so it won't, like, even if the veins are adjacent, it won't mine two types of the same material. Rapis Razul. Let's, uh, go down here. See if we can start a shaft. Is that doymons? No, that's gravel. How do I confuse gravel and doymons? Let's get some torches down. Boom. Boom. 
charge this baby up. Back to the old grind. I can just hold this down, now that I think about it. Okay. Uh, that wasn't a very big shaft. I'm just gonna head back here. My thing is in here, isn't it? I'm gonna put this down here and just throw all the stacks in here. That was probably a lot of diamond right there. 18. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see, I need a longer tunnel to work with. Luckily, these mobs are just basically nothing to me. Big hole. Slime. Okay, I can continue right over here. This looks like a good spot. Boom. They need something that you carry around with you that just gives off the max light level, like, around you. So no mobs can spawn near you. And, uh... Like, so that you can just have something to mine with constantly. Let's get down here and place some torches. Gravel. I hate you. Hate you almost as much as I hate, uh... What is it that I hate? I can't remember what I was saying a little bit ago. But I hate something. Definitely. Save and quit the title. Okay. Let that build up. Just so we can see in front of us. Hello, little creeper. I'm gonna charge this up so I can kill them. Get pushed off. Yeah. Die. Haha, <laughs> I'm invincible. Or close to it with my dark matter armor. I love the dark matter armor. I take, like, every four hits, I take half a heart. And then I just regen immediately. Fly back down here. Is this where I need to start? I guess so. What do you guys want from me? Luckily, I can just massacre you. Give me your stuff. Give me your arrows. Give me your bones. Give me your bone skeleton. What am I... Is this the wrong tunnel? Is that why it's, like, not very big? Ouch. I don't think my gravity thing is on. There we are. That fixed that. Okay, I gotta massacre you guys again. Clearly, you're not being nice about it, so you gotta die. Oh, I hate it when I have to kill you guys. I thought we could be friends. I wonder if this is even the right tunnel. Get all the material that I left behind. Oh, I don't want to leave behind that diamond. You are mine. Reach. There we go. Okay. Now... Oh, I see diamonds. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna keep checking just to see, you know, when I'm getting close to the amount that I need. 43. Okay, so it's going pretty fast. I, I bet it'll go really fast as we just start, like, running down these tunnels and mining at the same time. Yep, that'll make it go by. Okay. Do another one. And we continue. And it will just, like, mine all this huge block. Luckily, we don't have to worry about wasting materials because... We have, uh, the sphere. Convert all this into diamonds, except for one stack in case I need it. Let's go down here. I see some gold there. Gold. Prepare to be mined. Oh yeah. Mine the gold. Mine the gold. I can't believe this isn't even an instant mine on stone. Seriously. It's probably the worst dark matter tool. I can- the sword is actually a lot more useful than I expected it to be, because I can just do that, and it's a one-hit kill on everything. You just massacre anything you want. Texas Dark Matter Sword Massacre. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pick that. 
Hello, spoilers. You're not doing me any harm. I'm not gonna kill you. But if you get close to me, you're getting chopped up. Like, boom, 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 boom. It's pretty sweet. I'm like a ninja whipping my sword around. I'm just that boss. I'm gonna look at all these endermen so I can get them pissed off at me and then brutally murder them. Yeah! That was a weird sound I just made. I was like, yeah! 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 Die, creeper. Yeah. Keep it going. Go back down here. And I continue mining. I'm gonna go down here. We just do this. Oh, hello, creeper. Wanted to commit suicide just to be next to me? Alright. I can see why you would want to do that, because I'm so cool. I'm a YouTube commentator. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to think of a story that I could tell you guys while I'm doing this. Um, let's see. I'll tell you a little bit about my science teacher. Now, his name is... Uh, conveniently, he's he's a very mean person. So, his name just happens to be Mike Tyson. So, it's a pretty funny, pretty funny coincidence there. I wonder if his parents named them that on purpose because they knew he was going to be a horrible person. There we go. I'm gonna try to dry this up. Charge up my band, and he is my science teacher. I think I already said that. And his expectations of eighth graders are ridiculous. Like. A lot of people in our grade, um, very smart kids, are used to getting A's in every class. Like, they're very, very smart, and they deserve A's in every class. And he openly says that even if you are a really good student, you're probably going to get a B in his class, at least in, like, the second, third, and fourth quarters. In first quarter, it was relatively easy, and even, he said, relatively easy, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a lot harder than it is. His expectations right now are just plain out stupid. Like, a few days ago, we had an assignment where we had to do four questions as homework, and it was pretty easy, so everybody did that, but most people, he he counted everybody's, or like most people's, as not done, because people didn't write down the questions. Now, it didn't say to write down the questions, so, you know, how were people to know that we had to write down the questions? And then he said, uh, I said that on Friday, so you guys should have known that you had to write down the questions, but this wasn't on the uh, homework page itself, so the homework didn't tell us to uh, write down the questions, so nobody knew to. And he uh, graded a bunch of people's as missing or late. So a bunch of people were really ticked off by that, but you know, my parents are relatively understanding. I just got that done the next day, so my mom was like, okay. Um, didn't really bother them that much because they know his expectations are fairly ridiculous. Oops. I just mine that way. Um, that's fine. Just keep on going. Mine the rapis. There we go. Oh, Doyman's in the ceiling. Oh yeah. Torch. And uh, that's pretty much just like one account of his meanness towards kids. He says um, that he likes kids and that's why he teaches, but a lot of people speculate that he doesn't like kids. And I personally think that he doesn't like kids either. I think he's in it to get vengeance, to be honest, uh, against kids for whatever reason. And he has he has kids himself, which kind of weirds me out. I wonder, like, how bad their childhood was living with this guy. He was just so mean to everybody. And there's this, this one kid in our grade who I just blatantly hate. But the teacher, like, whenever he comes in, this kid, um, I'm not going to disclose any names here, I think my friends who are watching this will know who I'm talking about. Uh, it, like, blurts out a lot, and he's just really annoying. And, uh, then Mr. Tyson, sit, uh, like, tells him to shut up every, every day. Because he knows he's gonna make some weird comment. But, I realize that, yeah, he should shut up. <laughs> he needs to, uh, really get on task, and he's not a good student. He's a, a horrible person. <laughs> I don't wanna say that, <laughs> like, I'm, like, such a a mean person myself, but he's a pretty bad person. Nobody likes him, but he thinks he's he thinks he's all that. It's pretty funny because everybody knows he's not. But 
uh, the teacher just comes in every every day and he tells the guy to shut up. You know, I can understand that he needs to shut up, but he doesn't need to get told that by a teacher. He could just say, you know, be quiet, or maybe like you you do this every day. Could you please be quiet because I don't want to have to give give you a detention. That sounds like a pretty reasonable thing for me to say, or for him to say, but he just tells him blatantly, you know, shut up. And then another one of his ridiculous uh, rules is that if you chew gum once. He gives you a DT, a detention, which really sucks. It's just a lunch detention, so you have to come in at lunch and eat lunch in the lab or something. And I got one, so I had to go in and eat lunch because I, I had a piece of gum from fifth period, which is math, which and with an awesome teacher. So that was, it's cool that he lets us chew gum. But Mr. Tyson just hates gum for whatever reason. Why am I burning? Oh, here we are. That ought to help. So, I got a DT for chewing gum for the first time. I wasn't bothering anybody. I was taking my notes. Nobody seemed to notice except for Mr. Tyson because he looked at me and my jaw like quivered a little bit. I didn't even know that I was chewing it because it was just an accident from the last period. And I got a lunch detention. So, I didn't tell my parents. I just figured I'll let it slide. I'm not going to tell my parents. And I think... That was an okay thing to do because it was just something ridiculous that this teacher did. So I was uh, pretty bad, <laughs> to say the least. Um, let me check how much I have. I've been kind of rambling about the about this, haven't I? I think my commentary has been up to par though, which is good. Let's see. Uh, God, I have a lot of redstone. Um, I'm gonna try to turn this off and then burn it in a pit of lava. Need this guy again. Oops. I need that. Come on. There you are. Okay. So now, put that back down there. I need a block. Okay, now time to burn all the redstone. Yellow bag. I probably should be converting this into glowstone, but it is so hard to go through and do all that. Gather all this up. Put my band back in here. Oops. What did I... Oh, God. <laughs> Oopie. I just threw that into lava, didn't I? Luckily, th because of the way this works, I can throw this down. And then take the yellow bag back, and it will still have the same materials in it. Which is pretty good, because otherwise I would have some issues. <laughs> Put that back in there, and it should start converting it again. Come here. Come on. Get, get converted. Okay, I think that's all of it. Oops. Come on, Skelly. Don't do this to me. I know you're just trying to fit in, but don't even try it. Now, take this back off. G. There we go. And continue to throw more redstone in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm sorry I have to do this, but this stuff is so annoying. There we go. So, let's just uh, pretend that I threw that into lava and not even worry about it. I'm sorry. Let's see what all have we got in there. We have 64, 64, 64, 64. I'm a little surprised that we don't have more than that. I really am. Hmm. Odd. Okay, so that's going to give us a lot of diamonds once it gets smelted down. Oh, I, I wonder why we don't have more. I, I do wonder, indeed. I'm gonna... crap. Um... I don't need to charge this back up. Why does it keep on charging itself? There you go. Good thing I'm a jig. Is this a ravine? I think it is. There we go. 
Okay, so yeah, this is a ravine. It's crossing my mine shaft. I'm gonna try to fly down the tunnel and see if I can mine that fast. Let's go. Oops. I need to turn my thingamajig back on. G. Oops. I don't want that on because it just gets annoying. Wait. Oops. There we go. Now that'll suck my stuff up. Back to the grind. Now I'm moving like a lot faster. What am I hitting? I have no idea. I can't see. Torch. Oh yeah. I knew I saw this. There we go. Throw all my junk up here again. I wish it would just suck that up automatically, instead of me having to do it myself. Oh yeah, I'm gonna quickly exit, just so it can render that. I'm gonna close out of the wiki. Single player. YouTube. Come on, build the train. Build the train. Go, boy. Go. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good Minecraft? You are. Yes, you are. Sounds really stupid. Treating my Minecraft like a dog. There we go. Uh, why does it keep doing that? It shouldn't be mining sideways. I don't want it to mine sideways. Maybe I should get closer. I don't get really. It doesn't really matter. It's just annoying to me to have it do that. Oh, did I just burn a diamond? I think I did. Come on, move, move. Oh God, don't burn. <laughs> don't burn. Okay. Traverse the lava. I'm just. Wow, big lava thing. Okay, ready? Here we go. Now we're mining like pros. Oh. God dang it. Stupid water. I think I got the source block. Yeah, there we go. Wait, is that more? No. It's all good. I solved the problem. I'm pro like that. Oh. Hello. Is that eight? Oh, voice crack, jeez. I wonder if I'm st still going through puberty. <laughs> wow. I've had like three voice cracks in just this like 30 minutes that I've been recording. Actually, I don't know how long I've been recording. I think it's probably more than 30 minutes. I think it's probably more than 30 minutes. Good English, I have grammar. No wonder I'm in English 8-1 and not honors. I was in honors for one year, but I, I failed out. Which, uh, it's pretty sad, but look, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I failed out on purpose because I didn't want to do honors English because I knew it was going to get harder as the years went on. So I failed out. Okay. More. More. Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Doug, who calls himself a nerd, but he, I, um trying to think of exactly how this went down. Uh, he said, like, he was doing some calculations for me, and he said, you know, you get five diamonds for every hit you do with the catalytic lens, so he uh, calculated that for me, which is pretty cool. And then I'm like, <laughs> he said, if you ever need a nerd, let me know, because I'll be here. And I just said, can I have your fax number? I'm going to be sending you my math homework from now on. And he's like, um, if you give me the problems, I will gladly do the work for you. That is crazy. He, I had somebody who was actually willing to do my math homework. So I turned him down. But thank you, Doug, for your very, 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 very generous offer. That is pretty awesome. You know, you're uh, clim climaxing. Is that a word? I don't think so. You're reaching your potential as a YouTuber when you have people offering to do your homework for you. Thank you very much, Doug. I, w I will not be needing your services, but if I ever had any really difficult problems, uh, I know you're there for me. So, thanks, bro. That is pretty freaking sweet. 
Let's get this down. Why do you keep uncharging? Stop doing that. Wait, is that a mob spawner? No? I could have sworn I just saw some, like, flames or something over here. Oh, well. We're going into an abandoned mine. Charge this up again. Stupid water sources. Ugh. I hate them. There we go. I think I got it. I'm out of torches. I think I have some more. Come on, please have more torches. Please have more torches. Uh, I do not have any more torches. I do, however, have billions and billions and billions of coal, so I'm good. But I need to make some sticks first, so... Let's see, I need my red bag, which is here. And I have wood in here. I wish this had, like, a crafting grid or something over here that you could use for just, like, while you were in this, uh, alchemy bag GUI. I need my yellow bag to do some conversions real quick. Boom, boom, boom. It's filling with redstone again. We know what that means. Bye-bye, <laughs> redstone. Why do I have this few diamonds? Where are they going? I don't understand. I feel like there are a lot fewer than there should be. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a dealer and rather stupid. Okay, so. I actually have a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know. How many? I had like seven, didn't I? Se yeah, I had seven. So, let's lay this out and just see about how many I have, roughly. And after I finish recording this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to sleep, because I'm tired. Probably shouldn't be recording this anyway. But, uh, I am. Okay. These equate to, like, more dark matter, because, uh, they smelt at a higher rate. Boom. Boom. Uh. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Then we also have... I'll divide these up. And we need 32. So I have to remember that these actually equate to more dark matter than it looks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, plus the 7 I already have. And I think this will actually smelt and do a lot more diamonds than it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more, and then we can go, go ahead and call this an episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of mining. And, um... I'll probably get some uh, building in in the next couple of days, so you guys can check that out. Going on down the line. Oh, was that a mob spawner that I just destroyed? What just happened? I could have sworn I saw the mob spawner flames. Whoa. Is that a ravine? I think it's like a ravine ex intersecting with a, a mine shaft. Okay, and we need to make torches, but I decided that I didn't want to do that and just uh, decided to count up my diamonds instead so let's actually do this um here we go now we need our wood make a full stack shift click and there we go that'll do it there we go Okay. More torches. Oops, I see diamonds there. Yay! I think we're getting very close to our locus. Is that some more diamonds? No, that's webs. I, I hate webs. Very annoying that you have to mine them with a sword. 
I don't see why a sword would cut them any better. Maybe because it's sharp, but you know, in re in reality, you could cut it with a with like your hand or scissors or something. I don't know why he would bring a sword to cut spider webs. Okay, R. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh yes, another skeleton spawner. Oh, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Let's see what have we got in this chest? Um, I'll just throw some of my stuff in the yellow bag. Cause I may need some of this. I'll take the ingots. I don't want the redstone. Why would I want the redstone? Ouch. Another voice crack. That's like six this video. Let's mine this guy. Mine's very fast. Okay, so now we have another spawner that we can use. That's awesome. And we can add that to the mob trap. And I wanted to show you guys the the chest full of items that I got. Well, I I went to see Johnny English Reborn, which was a really funny movie. If you guys uh, watched the first Johnny English and you liked it, you'll definitely like the second one. It was actually fairly violent, so it was a comedy and it had a little bit more action than the first one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter though, I'll probably never come back here again, because I'll get lost. There we go. Boom. But that was a really funny movie, and I left uh, myself, or I left the Minecraft on while I was at the movie, and I got like several stacks of bones and arrows, which is good. So the mob trap is actually fairly efficient, even with just one spawner. Flying over lava there, probably lost a bunch of material. Let's go back and get anything that I missed. Okay, that looks like it. Okay. There we go. Oh, I have that stack of wood there that I don't need. Continuing on. Rushing super fast through this because I can. I think there's probably going to be some more doymans in the ceiling up there where I just got that last one. Yep. Oh, I love doymans. Hello, doymans. You're mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doymans. Oh, yeah. And that sounded really strange. I want you guys to let me know how my commentary has been throughout this episode because I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling it. And I think my commentary has been very up to par. It's been very natural. I've been speaking fluently. Unlike the movie where I was just really tired and I wasn't really focusing on my commentary. I was just doing things. Not really telling you about it. Not really going into depth with it. I was just doing it. So, I think this series may require another movie to just do some more building out of all the materials that we mined. I think that would be really fun. I may do like a, you know, a couple hour movie, not like another five hour one. But uh, it was a really fun mod to play through. I really enjoyed it. This mod is great. So if you haven't uh, played this mod, I totally recommend that you get it. You'll definitely enjoy it. If you like having end game Minecraft, then it's a mod for you. Oops. All this stuff trying to cram its way into my yellow bag. I bet it's full of redstone. Yep. Delete all redstone. There we go. Boom. Oh. Gold! You're mine! Yeah! Skellies. Take your bone. Oh yeah, I love skelly bones. Anything down here that I missed? Got some iron. Got some coal. I don't really want to mine the coal because it just gets converted into glowstone. Torches. This guy. Oops. Not the inventory. I wanted to press R. Oh, why am I all not moving all of a sudden? Why am I all not moving? I don't understand me. I don't understand me not moving. It doesn't make me sense. Yeah, no. Yeah. Doesn't make me sense. Do some mining right here and see if there's anything in the wall. Okay, here we go. Get this. Here we are. Okay. 
Hang on, guys. I'm gonna pause the recording for one sec. Okay, guys. I'm back. I was just eating a cookie there. So, and I had to talk to my mom real quick about homework because I missed a lot of today. Okay, and I don't want to get behind because being behind sucks. I'll tell you a little bit about my migraines if you care that much. But, uh, I guess it was 7th grade, I think it was. But I would miss, like, a day every week because I would have a migraine. And that was because I have an allergy to something called monosodium glutamate, which is a flavoring that they use in, like, a lot of chips and stuff like that. So when I would get eat, like, Doritos or anything like that, I would get a migraine. And eventually, my mom figured out that, um... It was being caused by the MSG because my dad has the same allergy. He gets um, headache or migraines whenever he eats uh, MSG. So then I stopped eating it, but I was still getting headaches, and my mom couldn't figure out why. And then she found out that there are a ton of things that like masquerade as MSG, or they they are MSG, but they just pretty much use a different name for it. And those are still chemicals which uh, cause migraines. So. I had to stop eating those, too, and after we figured that out, I haven't had a migraine in, like, a good six months, so that's really good. I haven't had constant migraines. I haven't missed that much school. I've missed, like, two days this quarter. Um, one was because I just had, you know, a horrible cold, and the or today would have been the second day with a migraine, and technically I'm not absent because I, I showed up there in the morning, so that's good. Oops, why did I just get that redstone? It's the one thing I don't want. You guys can die. Get the coal, or not the coal, the gold. Do a checkup on how many uh, diamonds I have. I think I have plenty. Yeah, I bet I've got enough. So let's go ahead and get home. Should be a pretty straight shot to get there. Just go down this huge tunnel. Just hug the wall, and then I should be there fairly soon. You know, fairly soon, as in several minutes. But it was a very successful mining excursion. I didn't have any death. I didn't lose too many materials to lava. Except how I threw my yellow bag into the lava. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But uh, luckily, it, it stores exactly what's in there. So when you accidentally throw one away, you can easily get it back. Which is good. So if you guys have issues with sometimes losing your materials, I recommend you, you take the yellow, or not the yellow, it doesn't have to be yellow, take a, an alchemy bag and store your stuff in there, so that if you accidentally die or something like that, you can just give it back. You should be good. Dirt. Convert. Convert the dirt. Does this work? Oh, it does. That's cool. Will it work on cobble? No, it doesn't. So you can strip out all the, uh, uh, moss stone. In case you ever need something like that. Does it work on dirt? No. <laughs> Otherwise you could just tear your world in half. Gravel. Gravel converts at a fairly high rate. I guess it's because, you know, it's rarer than dirt. Shift click. Okay, there we go. Get rid of the redstone. Torch. Hello, Enderman. I'm gonna murder you guys. Cha yeah. Doi. <laughs> Massacre the Enderman. Massacre the Enderman. Every time you see an Enderman now, I'm making it a rule that you guys have to say Massacre the Enderman. Massacre the Enderman. Because it's a it's a DLR thing. I don't have I don't really have a thing. Like Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, or eat that watermelon, or, uh, Epo. In Sly's case, I hate Sly. I really do. There we go. I used to like his videos, but then I just realized that he had a really annoying voice, and he was horrible at Minecraft. Um, I consider myself, maybe, I may be like a little tiny bit better than P-Bat, but that's probably because I spend a lot more time playing this game than he does. Plus, I... Uh, manage my own server. I bet he has people that do most of it for him. So, I, I got a real feel of the mechanics after coding my own mod. I understand how Java works. I'm learning to write C-sharp right now, which is pretty cool. And I'm wondering if, uh, uh, my friend Doug. Doug, if you know C-sharp, I could use a little help. I'm 
stuck on uh, variables. So if you have any experience with C Sharp, Doug, I can certainly use your help. But C Sharp is uh, a little bit easier to learn than Java. So I'm learning how to code that. And I I am definitely like a lot better than Sly. I may be just a tiny bit better than Pbat. Just like a tiny bit because he's really good at Minecraft. I'm not nearly as good at fighting as he is. Like fighting monsters and stuff. Or exploring. He has a better sense of direction than I do. But I also know like usually crafting a little bit better than he does. Stuff like that. Uh, he may be better than me. I don't really know. I don't know how you would gauge something like being better at Minecraft. But, I don't know. Um, you can leave that up, or you can decide that yourself if I'm better than Pbat. Let's take a poll. Am I better at Minecraft than Pbat? I want to hear your opinions. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's episode of Equals 3. And, so tell me guys, is DLR better than, at Minecraft than Pbat VG? Leave your answer in the comments below. Okay. <laughs> uh... Oops, I need the sword. Massacre. There we go. Texas Dark Matter Sword Massacre. That could be my thing. Texas Dark Matter Sword Massacre. I wonder if I could put that on a shirt. Leave a, a comment also if you would buy a DLR shirt. If I bothered to put those up on uh, Uber Prints. If you would l buy a DLR like, sweatshirt or something. And it would probably be like $20 for a, a t-shirt, maybe 30 for a sweatshirt. Because those things are relatively hard to make. I'd have to put my logo on it. And then I could also put the uh, slogan like, um, Texas Dark Matter Sword Massacre. Let me know if you would buy a shirt. Because I could make some money off of that and you guys could show off your love of the DLR. I know you guys love me that much that you would be willing to pay $20 for a shirt. Uh, that's funny. That would be funny just to go somewhere. Like if you were... Somebody like as famous as Peabat or or Sly, you go somewhere and then you see people wearing your shirts, and then maybe they recognize you and say, "Hey, are are you the guy on the YouTube's?" Yeah, I'm the guy on the YouTube's. That would be pretty awesome. I wonder if any of you guys would recognize me. Is this my trap? Yeah, it is. So what I'm gonna do, because uh, it'll be easy to navigate this way. Let's go up here. And you know, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and go in the maintenance entrance. Push forward. Die, Skelly. Die! Oh yeah. Here's the maintenance entrance that I built. It's just a gravel. There we go. And put my other spawner down. Skeleton. There we go. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. Put my gravel down. Okay. Where is the exit? Can't really remember. Ah, here it is. So I fly up here. And then I can't remember which direction do I go. I think it's this way. Hopefully it's this way. Otherwise I'll look like an idiot for not knowing which way to go from my mob trap. Okay, I really hope that I have enough dark matter to make the locust. I need 32. I want to fly so very high and never have to ask why it is that I can't fly. But um, bum bum. SpongeBob. It's uh the lost episode. It was in like season season 3. I'm a massive SpongeBob nerd. I know everything there is to know about SpongeBob. I have all the way up to like season 6 on DVD. But now they have it on Netflix, so I don't bother buying the DVDs. But that is a funny show. Even if you're a teenager like me, it's still funny. I know a lot of people would think that's kind of strange that I still watch Spongebob, but I don't care. That's a funny show. It's a very funny show. Okay, now throw all this into our yellow bag of conversions. Rails. Let's see what other stuff do I have in here? Oops, that's a building material. Rails. Um, I'm gonna throw boom, boom, boom. 
flint, arrows, bones. There we go. Now I'm going to see just how much of these diamonds I can cram into the furnace. Okay. 7, 64, 64. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah. So now I need... Where is it? This. I'm gonna load it up. Can I shift click? Crap, I can't. That's annoying. Hey Zeno, if you're watching this, please add a shift click function. It would make me like this a lot more. There we go. Now, I'm gonna see... Darn it. Uh, if I had the le another level 2 Klein Star, then I could get the Watch of Flowing Time, and I could use that to speed this up. What I'm gonna do is take all this glowstone and then see about using this Watch of Flowing Time to speed this up. Where is it? There it is. I don't know how effective this is going to be, but we will certainly find out. Okay, charged up. Wow, that's effective. <laughs> okay, so, so there's clearly something to this. I can see why he would want to use the Watch of Flowing Time. Geez, I can barely keep up with it. Oh, I'm full. Okay, get ready to turn this guy off. Oops, okay, there we go. So that uses a lot of glowstone very fast, but it also speeds that up to a crazy amount. Okay. Now, oops, I need this. I really hope I have enough. Let's get this all laid out. Boom, boom. Fit more up here if I can. Get this laid down into a big grid. Rapis Razul. Rapis Razul. That could be another shirt. I don't know. So I, I really need you guys' input on that. Would you like to see DLR shirts and would you actually buy them? There we go. I need confirmation that you have money and that you will buy shirts if I'm going to put these things up. Because I, I don't exactly know how the shirt business works. Yeah, this will be plenty of diamonds. Let's see, how big is that now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 40 right there, so that's good. Now what I gotta do is... Uh, I'll do 36 because that's an easy number to multiply by. Divide this up into four. Divide that up into fours. Four, 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 four. 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 Alright, so that's, uh... Let's see. Got that done. So that's 16 right there. Four by four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that would be 36. So, gotta keep dividing by f into fours. Okay. Uh, 32. 32. Okay, this is getting pretty troublesome. 4. 4. 4. 4. The 
put this up here so I have more room to divide into fours. Ugh. Let's see. Get another stack down here. Ooh, this is hard. Troublesome, troublesome. Stack all this flint. I wish it would stack. It's something that they should consider adding. You know, things that would actually stack. Okay, more fours. Uh... Put a layer of stuff there. I think that should be enough. Four. 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 Just need eight more fours. Four. 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 Now, um, I'm gonna quickly uh, open up my calculator here. Okay, now here we have 36. 36x12 equals 432 glowstone. So, 432 divided by. 64 equals 6.75. So we need six complete stacks and another three fourths of a stack. Six. Okay. Now another another three fourths. Not another. What am I saying? There we go. Now we need to do that with redstone. So what I'm going to do is get a stack of glowstone some extra and convert this into redstone okay now one two three four five six and then another three-fourths okay so there was 48 now we need to stack these back up so I can have a little more room in here. Okay, now we need um, two. We need 13 and a half stacks of coal, which could be a little harder to get. Okay, take that. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Convert some of that redstone into coal. Luckily, I have the ability to do that. Shift click. Shift click. Shift click. Uh, I need some more. <laughs> A lot more. Some of this glowstone, and then convert the. Oops, I need the full officer stone. Then take the glowstone and convert it into or the redstone. And I will take this will give me another two stacks. And there's another two stacks. Should click. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um I have any more anywhere else. Let's see. Okay, there's 28, and I'm, I'm gonna need to convert some more, I think. Another stack will do it. Or not, could I just use that? Where's my full officer stone? It probably got sucked into the yellow bag. C4, uh, there we go. Darn it. Crap. Oh well. Boom. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now I need another tiny bit. I'm just gonna convert all that. Okay, now that's done. 
So I need, I'm going to lay exa out exactly how much I need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I need half a stack. There we go. So I'm going to quickly uh, take this little guy out. Where's this thing? G. And I should probably have this on so I don't get creepered all of a sudden. V. I'm just lucky nothing has spawned over here. Now, I'm going to throw this on the ground. So there we go. So there's my 13 and a half stacks. And then I'm going to do this very well. Delete all coal. Okay, so that's the simple way to do things. Now I'll move forward. There we go. Okay. Now i got to get rid of all these doymans. So I'm going to throw that down. There we go. I think that did it. So... Shift click, delete all diamonds. I'm gonna throw this on the ground. Okay. Now I don't even care if the redstone and stuff gets deleted, the extra redstone, so I'm gonna just gonna do that. Delete all glowstone. Then I'm gonna pick this up. And I give myself the 36 dark matter. Previous. So I'm gonna give myself one stack, not that. One stack. Divide up. Okay, so there's our 36 dark matter. Now, we throw this away, and we give ourselves our dark matter locus. Now, this thing uses doymons as fuel, and I'm not exactly sure like how it's used. I think it can, like, clone dark matter tools or something. Or maybe it can clone dark matter. Let me uh, try it on a dark matter, see if it works. Where's my white bag? There we go. White bag. Dark matter. I, I understand if that was very boring to you, that process. Boom. No, that doesn't work. Um, let's see. Minecraft. Equivalent exchange wiki. I bothered to bookmark this, so now I can get here easier. Um, locus. Dark, no, not dark matter, locus bug. Dark matter, locus. Here it is. Okay, now, um, can duplicate your dark matter, and I can use the Kleinstar's fuel. So, that is excellent. That is an excellent piece of machinery right there. And I also, uh, have to, like, for the recipe, I had to sacrifice one glowstone aggregator. I, I realized that I only thought it was, a uh, dark matter blocks. So what I'm gonna do... Just trash that. Let's pretend I I had that in the recipe. But so, there we go. Now, if I put my Klein Star in there, then it will do this. It will very very slowly duplicate. I think very very slowly. And I'm gonna get some glowstone out.
insanely fast. And that just gives me four or a dark matter block every time, which equates to four dark matter. So now I'm gonna make or I'm gonna wait until it makes like two more and then I'm gonna make a level two Klein star. It's eating up my glowstone really fast, so I wanna get this done. But that moves like really slow. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Now I convert that. Okay, I need I need it to go once more. Come on. I know you can do it. Uh Oh, I need a Klein Star Sphere for it to work infinitely. So I don't know if I should turn off I think I'm gonna let it eat up this glowstone because I actually have plenty. There we go. So, uh, let's see. What can I do while that's going? I could go map out an area in the mountains, but I kind of don't want to. So, guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just cut out and let this fuel, and uh, I will be back with you once that's like done and I have enough for a climb star sphere. Be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And it just finished that dark matter block, so I'm gonna convert this. Now I have 41, and I'm gonna take one of those and put that down, throw these away, and give myself the uh, Klein Star Sphere. So there's one of those, and I'll just leave that one in there. And now uh, I can go ahead and let those just continue duplicating, and we can have unlimited dark matter for whatever we need it for. So let's uh, put our glowstone back in our glowstone chest. Because it's not really uh, necessary to have that since we have the second Klein Star Sphere now. And we can just continuously have that making more dark matter for whatever reason. Okay, there we go. Now, watch a flowing time. I can just leave on. Uh, Doymans. Put those in my bag of conversions. There we go. That's pretty awesome. Okay, now guys, I looked back at the recording, and it turns out I've been recording for like an hour and 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Let's just see how many other blocks we have. We can just let this go for a long, 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 long time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, DLR, signing out.